Hi, my name is Lori Hagee, and I'm a primary music teacher in Juneau, Alaska, at Glacier Valley Elementary School, which is proud to be a Musical Futures Champion School and home of an El Sistema-inspired program called JAM, Juneau, Alaska Music Matters. And I would like to thank Fran and Martin of Musical Futures for inviting me to share some of the inspiring work that I have seen as part of my Fulbright in the UK in 2019. The question framing the presentation is, how do we create music education for life? And this wasn't quite the question I had going into my Fulbright, but after experiencing so many innovative programs, I think this is a question that the music education field needs to address if we want to make sure that all children have access to music in their public education. And programs like Musical Futures are helping to answer this question. I would like to thank the US-UK Fulbright Commission for sponsoring me as part of the Fulbright Distinguished Awards in Teaching program. And I encourage any teacher in the UK who has been teaching for five years or more to look into this opportunity. It's fully funded, and you'll have the opportunity to pursue a project individually or as a group that would help you grow as a professional and study at a university in the U.S. You'll see there's a website, musicmattersintheuk.com, and that was my final project where I housed all of the work that I saw in the, in the U.K., so I hope you'll check it out. To give a bit of context, as I mentioned, I helped create JAM, which is an El Sistema-inspired school program, 10 years ago. And El Sistema is a social service program that uses music to help children reach their fullest potential. And fittingly, it was Big Noise in Scotland, where I interned for five weeks 10 years ago, that helped me shape the program. JAM is not a music program, but a school readiness skills program. And because of that, my halftime position as a music teacher expanded to full-time because my role expanded. Music was no longer just enrichment, but actually core to helping children in kindergarten and first grade have access to key skills that playing an instrument helps hone like language comprehension and cognitive skills and attention, self-regulation and memory. JAM is now in three schools serving over 500 children, kindergarten through fifth grade. And we have an after-school program as well, which leads me to why the Fulbright was an important step for me, because I realized we weren't reaching all of our children. Students, especially in the older grades, were starting to quit and I realized a lot of it had to do with my approach to teaching. I'm a classically trained pianist who's had only formal training. Read what's on the page, don't deviate. And I realized that many of our students representing very different cultures have a different approach. And when I learned that the UK had this vibrant program called Musical Futures, I knew that's where I needed to go and to look at how to identify programs that support student agency, identity, creativity, and well-being. And even though the website is organized by those categories, I found that the organizations I'm mentioning embody many of these concepts. And so it's a bit arbitrary how I've organized it. But I also think it's an opportunity for us to realize that we should be collaborating and partnering as much as possible so that we can see this as more of a cycle. And so it doesn't matter which category or concept you start with, they all support and lead into key competencies that our students will need to be competitive and have a sense of well-being for their life. And so let's start with Musical Futures, one of my main reasons for coming to the UK. I love this approach. It combines non-formal and informal learning 
to encourage all of those areas mentioned. And I'll start first with agency. Agency is the ability for someone to change their future by their actions. How many times have we heard that children quit music because they didn't know how to read it? And Musical Futures just levels the playing field by providing tools so that a child can access music making at their own level and gives them tools to continue to grow in them. This was transformative for me as a music teacher because students were beginning to equate knowing how to read music as, as being a good musician, and that needed to end right away. Learning how to read music doesn't mean that you are not musical, and Musical Futures, with this approach, students could look together as a whole class and play music together without that barrier. It's an example of how they were in control of their own actions and how that would uh, affect and impact their growth in the future in a positive way. Which brings me to Drake Music Scotland. They also use a different type of system to help students play music together more quickly. I think this could be an opportunity for Musical Futures and Drake Music Scotland to team together to find ways in which other instruments could be added to the Just Play curriculum. Identity. I saw at Paragon's Tune program in Glasgow how exploring individuals' musical identity helped them develop their broader self. For example, this young lady at Paragon took it upon herself to organize a fundraiser for Paragon. Another example is Torquay Academy, where students get to explore music that they're interested in and then put their own spin on it through the Just Play curriculum. And it was wonderful seeing every band form their own identity and approach the music in a different way. And finally, Face Roche, Kin and the Community Project. This project had children collecting recorded interviews and creating soundtracks to tell a story of cultural heritage. And I think it's a great way to approach songwriting while connecting to the culture and history and heritage of our communities. Which brings me to creativity. Musical Futures, Drake Music Scotland, have already been doing incredible work in the areas of creativity and music technology through the Ableton Live Project and Digital Orchestra, which I think is another great opportunity for partnership. I saw a primary Musical Futures school at Norbridge show how students had the confidence to create their own music after working through the Just Play curriculum and then moved into songwriting. Their lyrics speak volumes to their sense of agency, identity, and creativity. At Paragon, I was introduced to the idea of inclusive pedagogy versus inclusive practice. The Musical Futures, Champion Schools, and other organizations embody this idea of allowing the creativity to come from the child rather than imposing or limiting what a child can do. And at Beauclair Academy in Glasgow, I saw classroom workshopping in action, which is a great example of this. And finally, well-being and belonging come round circle to big noise, this time as an adult orchestra, and seeing how opportunities for people new to the country, new to the community, can come together through music. And personally, I need to thank the Glasgow Folk Workshop and the Fache Movement in Scotland for providing a way for me to meet people, play music together in an or informal way through these intensive weekends. And I had planned to come back this summer for week-long intensives. I think there's something to be said about finding ways to bring adults together as well who might not have had the opportunity to learn music as a child. And for a Fulbrighter like me who is looking for a community to belong to, both Faish and the Musical Futures family provided that for me. So thank you. In closing, this is an opportunity for music educators worldwide 
to work together to show that music is not an enrichment, but is core and a foundation building for life. I'd like to thank Musical Futures, all of the Musical Future Champion Schools, and all of the people and organizations throughout the UK who have led me to this understanding, including University of Strathclyde, who hosted me. Music Matters in the UK. Thank you so much for sharing all of your knowledge with me and giving me this opportunity to house it on a website, musicmattersintheuk.com. I hope you'll check it out.